Welcome back to my channel, watch and learn with Umama. Do's and Don'ts. After embryo transfer during IVF. The embryo transfer is the last step in the IVF process. When you're going through in vitro fertilization IVF, you may feel like you're on pins and needles after your embryo transfer. It's natural to feel impatient waiting to find out if it was successful. You may be wondering what you should do after your transfer or what you should avoid doing that may improve your chances of a positive outcome. Here are some things that you should do after your embryo transfer. 1. Bed rest. Bed rest is advised while at the clinic after the embryo transfer is performed. Implantation takes place between 1 and 5 days after a blastocyst transfer. Take that week off. Get plenty of sleep and listen to your body. You may resume your routine activities but make sure you avoid any strenuous activity during that time. 2. Avoid strenuous physical activity. Avoid strenuous activities such as aerobics, running, jogging, cycling on hills, etc. Instead you can do moderate physical activities such as walking, driving, cooking, etc. You may also go to work but only if your work does not involve heavy lifting or vigorous exercise. 3. Diet. Eat as if you're already pregnant. Avoid processed foods, limit your sugar, eat good carbohydrates, add in oily fish twice a week, don't neglect proteins, take a daily multivitamin with folic acid. 4. Medication after transfer. Once the transfer is performed, fertility doctor will provide instructions concerning the type and dosage of the medication to be used until the pregnancy test result. 5. Sexual contact. It is recommended to avoid sexual contact until you get your pregnancy test results. Because this can cause uterine contractions, which in turn may interfere with the implantation of the embryo in the uterine lining. 6. Avoid baths. It is important to avoid tub baths, swimming pool, or beaches to protect yourself from potential infections. Have quick, warm showers instead and abandon the bubble bath for a few weeks. 7. Drink plenty of fluids. Fluids help regulate cell hydration, which is essential for proper cell functioning, including the endometrial cells. 8. Distress. Virtually any form of physical activity can act as a stress reliever for example get active, meditate, laugh more, connect with others, assert yourself, try yoga. 9. Take progesterone. Progesterone prepares your uterine lining for a pregnancy. Progesterone creates an optimal environment for implantation of the embryos. 10. Pregnancy test. Avoid taking a pregnancy test at home. You might get a false negative or false positive. You should wait for about two weeks post-transfer before you take your first HCG test. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.